History is about to take place as we get ready for the first time ever, a one-on-one -on -one Shiner Showdown. All season long, Mike and Richard, well, they've been in the thick of it. One of the most explosive feuds we've ever seen on Moonshiners. And now, instead of the two of them doing the talking, we'll let their shine do it. Mark, Digger, and Tim, this is going to be a blind taste test. Richard and Mike each brought three shines that are going to go head to head in three categories. Fruit-based, corn liquor, and flavored shine. I wanna thank Mike and Richard for being here. I'm sure there's a lot going through your minds right now. I appreciate you guys minding your behavior at the end of the table. Anything for you, man. I appreciate that. Okay, it's time for the Maggie Valley Feud Face-Off. Judges, you will take a sip of each of the shines that are going head to head and then secretly vote for which one you like better. Your vote will be put into these marked envelopes at the end. We will tally the votes and declare a winner. All right, let's start with category number one, fruit-based shine. Judges, grab the glass marked 1A and take a sip. Don't taste much fruit. I think it's citrus. You know, it's it's pleasant. It's pleasant drink. But Digger, you said you picked up on a citrus. I pick up a citrus note on it, and it's it, it's a little bitter, which is you know a, a common thing that happens with with citrus. That's a good. But, it, but it's a good good dry finish. I mean, it would hold up. It would hold up well in a cocktail. Let's go to one B. Tell me what you guys think. This is the fruit category. Mike and Richard, head to head. I can't determine what kind of fruit it is. Y'all sure that's fruit? I'm it's tasting fruit. chocolate. I get, I, get, I get a good sweet finish to it. I'm, I'm picking up chocolate. We always say on Master Distiller, proof is important, but at the end of the day, it still comes down to flavor. For the fruit category, you guys pick your 1A or 1B. I'm done. All right, I'm putting your answers into right. this envelope. All right, the votes are in the envelope. But first, let's find out who's 1A and who's 1B. Mike, you are 1A. Can you tell us what you brought in the fruit category? It's uh, Satsuma uh, from Mississippi, down south. They only, you know, pretty much grow in that region. They can't survive up here. And I actually peeled each and every one of those that used no path whatsoever that could be helped into the, the, the whole batch. And these are from your grandfather's farm? From my grandfather's farm. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right, Richard, you were 1B. What did you bring us? That's a pawpaw brandy. What exactly is a pawpaw brandy? A hillbilly mango is what I heard. Okay. Uh, so wonder, it's a cross wonder, between. Wonder where you got that from. Around the corner from your house. Sure did, oh. didn't you? All right, come on. I put you guys at the end of the table. I don't want to have to separate you. It's, it's multiple tastes. I mean, some people say it's a cross between a mango and a banana. I mean, he picked up cherry in it. He picked up chocolate in it. It's, they're really good. OK, let's move on to our next category. This is going to be corn liquor, 2C and 2D. So let's start. I mean, it's got color to it. So I mean, did they age it or something? I put it in some wood. I put wood in it or something. Got a little oakiness to it. Yeah, it's got a little yeah. age on it. It's, it's been chipped or... Doesn't have any fire on the back end. Let's move on to 2D. All ah, right, 2D. 2D. What are you guys getting? That one's Boss. down in the tail's pretty good. I yeah, can see oils a... on top of the... There's a lot of flavor to it. Interesting. It's not that clear. OK, you guys ready to vote on the corn liquor category? OK, I got Tim's vote. That one's easy. All right, I got the votes in for the corn category. 2C, Richard, right? Yes. What did you bring? My long game. Your long game? Yeah, that's for later on. That's just some good corn liquor right there. And I toasted some oak to put that in. So that oak that you're tasting is out the backyard. So you put the oak in it? Yes. OK. Mike, you were 2D. What did you bring us? 2D. Yeah, it's just a simple white corn recipe that I've made for years, family recipe that's been lent down from Mississippi and all. Good and flavor. It's a good drink. It reminds yeah. me of uh, making it with fresh corn. Really? That, it, was made, it was made with ground white corn. Mm. All right, 
Let's move on to the third category, flavored shine. So let's start 3E. I never tasted anything like that before. It don't have any boundaries, really, the flavored shine. It doesn't know. have boundaries, that's right. It's a tiny bit harsh on the aftertaste. Let's move on to 3F. It's like a chocolate malt with alcohol in it. I'm a tasting pecan. Yeah. Pecan. Maybe a butter pecan. Is it pecan or pecan? Either or. I like sipping creams because they're good. I mean, you can drink on them all day long and then, you know, finally end up being drunk later on that night. I'm, I'm a big fan of that part of it. Let's pick your favorite in the flavored shine category, and I'm putting them into this envelope. Richard, you were 3E. What did you bring? I said apple rye, and I didn't flavor it at all. It came out of the still like that. That's the flavor of this alcohol straight from the worm right there. I didn't, I didn't need to do anything else to it. OK. So Mike, you were 3F. 3F, yep. What that, is that? That is a, obviously a post-flavored alcohol, butter pecan. Y'all was right, y'all picked up those flavors. Yep. The customers that I sell to, they love post-flavored sipping creams, stuff like that. So I make what sells the most, it makes me the most money. Sure. We are about to reveal the winner of our very first one-on-one -on -one Shiner Showdown. After tasting Mike and Richard's shine from each category, our judges secretly voted for their favorite shines and put them in these envelopes. How are we feeling at the end of the table? Very good. You know, at the, at the end of the day, win or lose, I'm real confident in my alcohol, and he's leaving Maggie Valley anyway. All right. Richard? I mean, I got a nice new territory. I'm getting a whole lot of customers. I mean, win or lose, I win. All right. We'll see. All right. This might not have been a good idea, guys. <laughs> I think you're just putting gas on the fire. I think That's I... That's what it looks like. I think so. I mean, I literally, I have a pit in my stomach. What do you say? Let's reveal the winner of each category, and the person who wins the most categories wins the showdown. All right, the first category was fruit-based shine. The winner of that category is in this envelope. Mike brought a Satsuma shine. Tim said he wanted more fruit. Mark said it was pleasant. Digger said he can taste the citrus. Richard brought a pawpaw shine to the table. Tim said, I taste chocolate. Mark, I can't determine what kind of fruit this is. Digger, it's quite nice. The winner of this category, fruit-based shine, it was a two to one vote. And the winner is Mike. Mike won the first flavored shine category. That's one for Mike. Next category, corn liquor. Richard brought a toasted oat corn liquor. Tim said, tasting wood flavor. Mark, there's fire at the back end. Digger said, I appreciate it. Mike brought a family corn recipe. Tim said, it's smooth but cloudy. Mark said, lots of flavor. Digger said, this liquor was in the tails. The winner of the corn liquor category in a three nothing vote, Richard. That's one category for Mike and one category for Richard. And I'm about to throw up. I mean, let's be honest, come on. You guys have gotta be sweating it out. This last category determines who wins the Shiner Showdown of Maggie Valley. Flavored Shine. Richard, he brought an apple rye. Tim said, never tasted anything like this before. Mark said, it has no boundaries. Digger, I can't tell the flavor. Mike brought a butter pecan. Tim, sweet like ice cream. Mark said, a drink like this is very popular. And Digger said, I could drink this all day. A two to one vote. 
for all the marbles. Here we go. The winner is Mike. I Mike? Like him apples. Hey, man. I never <laughs> said you don't make good liquor. You just need to make better liquor in Maggie Valley. Hey, who's the winner of damn Maggie Valley? <laughs>